Bumbo. Ready to talk. Makeup session. What's going on, Tone Low? Man, this is really bad. Oh, a natural looking light. Oh, that's a crazy looking light. Man, not sure how many of you guys are going to be out here tonight, but I definitely need a makeup session to talk to my people. Billabong, what's going on? Needed a makeup session to talk to my folks, man. I've been I've been running around. I barely made it in uh, on time. What's going on? Watch out, Demetri. What's going on, brother? Man, I just wanted to talk to you guys, man. So I hope y'all join in. Not really sure how many people we're going to get tonight because Wednesday is our usual night. Um, and it will continue to be our usual night, but this is a makeup session. So not really sure how many people we're going to get tonight uh, with it being uh, Saturday night. Um, but yet still, I want to talk to y'all and those that can't uh, get on the live, then we know that uh, I will have it available to watch uh, for later on. So this will stay up. So hopefully they'll catch it at some point. So guys, as usual, it's your boy Fish and Ken, Look City TV. Um, and again, every Wednesday night we do this where we go live and we get to talk, um, hunting, fishing, all of that, man. So uh, hey, JT, what's going on, man? Again, we're doing we're doing a makeup session today. Um, as y'all know, I just got back from uh, opening. Opening day dove, uh, and we stayed three days. So Sunday um, night, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I guess you could call it four days. Um, and we we got back pretty late on Wednesday, so we took that time out to greet the family and enjoy the family. Um, so I did want to do a a big uh, a live for today because again, I enjoyed talking to y'all, um, as well as man, we have some. We have some fan mail and some really cool baits uh, that have been sent to us that I wanted to present to y'all and also thank them publicly for uh, sending those to me. Um, so guys, as you know, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to Hook City TV where we do a lot of crappie fishing. Um, but I'm, I got a feeling it's going to be a little bit of uh, hunting going on as well. So uh, with that being said, y'all make sure y'all check out the website where we do have merchandise available. You can find that at www.hookcitytv.com. Uh, don't forget to hit up the fan page on Facebook, which is Hook City TV fan page. Find that in the uh, in the uh, search, search tab. You can find us there. And I update that a little more regularly um, so you don't have to wait till we get a video out to know what's going on with me and dad and, and, and all our friends, Dimitri. Um, and the rest of us over at Luke City TV. So thank y'all, man, for joining. Number one, thank you for the support. I'm hoping you guys have seen the last two that I dropped. Guys, the last two days I've dropped two videos. We have a crappie fishing video as well as my first time ever dove hunting with my boy, Dimitri Norwood, a.k.a. D, a.k.a. Rev. Y'all make sure y'all go check out those videos, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. So that you'll be able to get notifications as soon as they drop. As soon as those videos drop, man, I want y'all to know about it so y'all can be first. And guys, again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're now at 23,000 subscribers, man. The city is growing. I've been telling folks they better get on the train because the train is leaving, man. We're going places. And I want all of y'all to be there with me. And not only with me, not only deal with, but be subscribers. I want y'all to be subscribers, man. So thank y'all. So let's get right into it, man. Um, again, I'll be I'll be glancing over here at the uh, live chat um, comment section every now and again. But I do want to show y'all some stuff and say thanks to the guys. Hey, there's one right there. Mike Bryan, what's going on? Artist, what's happening? Daryl, what's happening? Um, but we're going to just get into some stuff, man, that, that we've uh, we've had sent to us and, and, and give out our thank yous, man. Um, so, again, thank y'all. One last thing, guys. If y'all do want to support the channel monetarily, down at the bottom, there's a dollar sign. And what that is is the Super Chat icon. 
what that does is allows you to send, you know, anything you feel like like giving. Um, and of course, those proceeds are going to go towards fishing uh, and maybe even a little bit of hunting now, man. So it's, it's kind of crazy, but it will be going for those uh, specific reasons and nothing else. So thank you for what you do give. Thank you in advance anyway. Thank you for showing up. Let's get right into it, man. So I'll start with uh, some baits that I got. Um, and this is from Larry Bullard. And I hope that I'm saying that right. I'm not sure if Larry is on here. Um, but Larry sent me a nice package. Um, he asked for the uh, PO box and I was able to provide it to him. And what he did was send me some really nice jigs. Um, and then he typed me out a little letter, man. And for whatever reason, when I get these little letters, I, I, man, I feel, I don't know, it makes me feel good, man, to know that people took the time to write these letters out. Um, and I won't, I won't read the whole thing because it's, you know, I'm sure it's, it was meant for me and just for me. Uh, nothing personal, nothing crazy going on. Um, but this is, this is basically says, Ken, I'm Larry, I'm a 70 year old man that loves to crappie fish. Um, and about a year ago, he decided to try his hand at making his own jigs, uh, which I have in my hand. Um, and he does support the channel. Um, and he's been doing so for a couple of years and he enjoys watching me and dad. So, man, I appreciate Larry. Um, and it's Larry's Bates. It's Larry's Bates. And this is one I'm actually excited about. One of my favorite colors, which is a chartreuse and orange. What I'm excited about um, is that it's a, it's a solid body jig, uh, but what's cool is it has that paddle tail, that swim tail on it. Um, and then there's his information right there. Hope that comes up clear if you guys want something like that. Um, he also has some really nice, it, it almost looks like the uh, the late fork jig um, in blue, which blue is a good color on my home lake. So I'll probably drop that just to see what we can get going. Uh, let's see, does it have a name? Doesn't have a name on it. Uh, and then we have one that's, that's uh, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this watermelon. It's like a red with, uh, with pepper in it, which is really cool. Um, and then, of course, you have this one right here, um, which is really popular color. I hope y'all can see that at least okay. Um, but what that is is a pink and chartreuse. Um, it's a really nice jig. And then, of course, we have a, a purple and chartreuse, which is also really nice. Let's see if that's, that's something like that. Um, again, what's going on, guys? What's going on? And then lastly, we have like a laminate color. Let's see. We have a laminate color that's really cool. I'm, I bet that does really well in um, in clear water. I bet it does really well in clear water. So I just want to give a, a public shout out to uh, to Larry. Thank you, man, for sending those baits. Um, and we are going to try to drop drop those at some point. Um, and then I want to go ahead and jump over to my to my buddy. Um, Mike Bryant. Now, guys, Mike Bryant is someone that is always on. I think he, I just saw him earlier. So I do want to say thank you uh, publicly, man. I appreciate you going out of your way to send me things. And Larry, uh, he uh, he actually saw the uh, the Catch, Clean, and Cook, the crappie video, I believe it was, where we're black and crappie. Um, and he wanted me to try out some some rub, some blackening and seasoning. Um, and this is called Fine Fish Rub. Uh, dry spices for fish, which I'll see that. If y'all have ever used that, let me know in the, in the comment section, man. If you ever used that, I think that's really cool that he would send that to me. And again, man, I got another little handwritten letter, which which I, I you know, I love that, man. Um, it just says, hey, here's that fish seasoning, big box for a little package. Um, and he, he wants me to ensure that I follow the directions and I can't go wrong. Um, and also, I didn't bring it in here because it's in the kitchen, but he also sent me a, uh, a grill pad, a no-stick grill pad. That's really cool. So, Mike, I appreciate it, man. Um, and we will be using that. I might even make a video, another Catch Clean Cook, where we um, well, where we try our hand at blackening it again with this uh, exact rub, with these spices. So that's really cool. Um, so thank you, Mike. All right. Um, we have two more things. Uh, this one, I believe, is Antonio. Another another handwritten letter, man, um, from Antonio. Thanks, Ken. Keep up the great work. 
and I'll be tuning in faithfully. So I want to tell Antonio, thank you, man. Number one for your support on on, on Hook City TV, and also for this box of spices, man. Check this out: um, spices and seasonings, sauces, excuse me, sauces and seasoning. Oh man, and look here. So so Mike Bryant is also telling me that um, it's from South Africa. Man, look, you oh, man, you got me on some exotic stuff. Oh boy, man, I listen. Distributed by SCC BV. Sounds African to me. So look, man, I thank you, man. I really appreciate it. So again, I want to thank him as well. He sent me, oh, I missed one, one more color. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Larry also makes that black and chartreuse um, swim. So we appreciate him for that. So going into these uh, sauces and seasonings, this is Mama Jean's sauces and seasonings. Um, and it says it's the missing ingredient. That's pretty cool right there. Um, so man, like I said, man, this is a box of seasoning. So what we have is keto barbecue sauce. So it's, it's keto friendly. Um, we also have a uh, poultry marinade, which is really cool. You know, I got some dove in there. I, I'm going to guess that's considered poultry. I got some dove. I might need to check that out. Um, and I like I like grilling chicken thighs. Uh, we also have roasted garlic barbecue sauce. Now that sounds really good. It looks really good too. Thick and hearty. That looks really good. And all of these are 12 ounce bottles, by the way. Um, we also have a honey mustard sauce. I am a big fan of honey mustard. These are nice bottles, packaged well. Um, you know, really nice bottles, but they're, they're really they're really doing it up. And then here we go with pineapple chipotle barbecue sauce. I bet that would be good on some type of uh, dove or pheasant or something like that. Man, we're about to get crazy, guys. We're about to get crazy. And then this one is it just it's just 1.6 ounce, 45 grams. It just says uh, Mama Jean seasonings. It doesn't have a, a label on it. Um, as, uh, let's see, turmeric, ground mustard, paprika, salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. So it's a mixture of seasonings. I bet that's one of those uh, all-purpose seasonings. Um, let's see what else we got. We got pork and brisket rubs. So I'm, I'm actually kind of interested in that. I don't get real specific on my rubs for uh, pork and brisket. I got to stay away from the red meat, so I might not be doing a whole lot of cooking with it, but I will at least try it out so I can get a taste for it. I might be doing some ordering, man. Um, and then the last thing that's in here is fish fry. So we know that um, using uh, certain types of uh, oil that I can fry fish probably once a month. I'm not going to get too crazy on it. And again, it has a list of what all is in this mixture. Uh, celery, salt, paprika, red pepper, ground mustard, salt, garlic powder, rosemary, um, cornmeal and there's one I'm not even going to try, attempt. Um, but that looks really good. That looks really good. And um, I'm a big cornmeal fan. So I'm going to try that, man. That's another one I'm going to try. So, and Tony, I want to say thank you. That's all in that one. And I'm going to tell you what, like I said, man, this is a lot of stuff. I don't have, I got the computer so close to the screen. I'm just going to kind of put those right there. I can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Um, and then that one, I'm covering myself up. That one, so thank you, man. I mean, that was that was really big. That's a really big order that you sent me. I'm thankful. Um, and I will be, I will be testing and trying those out in the days and weeks to come. So that's pretty cool. If y'all want to try it out, it's it's uh, Mama Jean Seasonings uh, at Mama Jean Sauce and Seasonings .com. So it comes from from Antonio, and I'm thankful again. All right, lastly, man, um, I've had these baits for a little while now, um, and I apologize, I'm terrible with names, man, uh, but we also got some uh, Binks spoons. If you guys have ever heard of Binks spoons, let me know, man. I've heard of them before. Um, I've never used any, and uh, this guy gave me, this gentleman gave me a chance to get some of them. Um, and I'm not sure if he's the owner of Bink Spoons, uh, 
And I man, I apologize, charge it to my to my mind and not my heart. Again, I am thankful. But man, we got some big spoons in. An eighth ounce, uh, let's see, three eighths ounce, half ounce, and quarter ounce. So I'm kind of excited about these. I know going into the uh, fall and spring, um, these are gonna be these are gonna be useful to me. Um and I want to show you guys what some of them look like. Guys, I'm going to get to these questions in one minute. But I want to, this is the last thing I want to show y'all. Uh, these are these are Binks spoons. Um, and they're not they're not a one-dimensional bait. These catch um, sand bass, white bass, uh, crappie, bluegill, I've heard. Um, a lot of your game fish, black bass, uh, spider bass, smallmouth, um, and I mean, I got, I got a bunch of them guys. So I'm kind of happy about this. So shout out to the guys over there at Binks. Um, getting charged to my, to my mind, man, and not my heart uh, for the name. Uh, but thank you. I want you to, that's the part I want you to receive, the thank you. So here's just, here's just a few of them. I know it's not going to show up real well. Um, that's the Fire Tiger. And it comes with a... Uh, a swivel on the nose and it comes with a small um, treble hook on the back. Uh, let's see, Arkansas Shiner. If y'all can see that, Arkansas Shiner. It's kind of in the back, there we go. Arkansas Shiner. Really cool packaging it comes in as well. Um, and this one is the white with black back. Uh, let's see, here's another cool one that I looked at, which is Clown. I see that. We'll move kind of quick, y'all. Um, white with blue back. It's really cool. Uh, here's one that I can see working well, which is a chartreuse bait. White fluorescent green back. That's really cool bait. I hope y'all can see those, man. Um, and I, again, we will be getting the questions and, and talking here in a minute, guys. But I, I want to show my appreciation real quick, so y'all bear with me. Here's a, a white with red throat. That's really cool. Um, here's a white scale. Y'all can see that white scale. And man, the list just goes on and on. These are these are some really cool baits. Let's see if I can find a really cool one real quick. Um, here is bluegill. This one actually is called bluegill. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that, man. That's just, that's not, I mean, that's some real stuff right there, man. That's some real cool stuff. I mean, that, that's some workmanship right there. The finish on. Uh, here's a here's a pink that I bet you, ooh, okay. I'm gonna show y'all these two. We're gonna get into our talk. So here's a white pink back. I really like that one. Really like that one. I can see that doing well. And then here's one of my favorites is the albino. It has like a, let's see if I can get it turned in the package. It has like a, a purple hue to it. And I bet you that thing can really throw some colors, man. So anyway, and then like I said, man, I got boxes upon boxes. I got three boxes full of that stuff. So I'm excited to use that. Um, so thank you guys over there at Bing Spoon. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get those things in rotation soon and very soon, man. Uh, so if you if you're just now tuning in, guys, again, you can catch these lives like this every Wednesday night. Um, we're doing a makeup session because I was late getting back home Wednesday evening um, from my first ever hunt. And if you want to see that first hunt, which was opening day dove hunt, you can find that on the channel as well as. Um, Checking to see how good that GoPro Hero 7 was going to be for me. So I did a I did a review on the GoPro Hero 7 um, while catching a few of those donkeys. And we have uh, part one of the dove hunting video. And guys, there will be a part two. So y'all stay tuned. Again, if you have not subscribed, man, matter of fact, right now, just go to the page. I'm going to be on here for a while. Just go to the page. Hit that subscribe button, man. We are growing, guys. 23,000 subscribers as of two days ago, I believe. And we are we are going. We're going, we're growing, and we're flowing. You know what I mean? So, y'all, yeah, listen. Come on in. 
It's your boy Fishing King. And we want to say thank you for all, all the support, guys. Um, this channel is mainly uh, crappie fishing, but we are going to mix it up a little bit so that we can bring people in. So y'all share these videos. When you go to work, tell all the guys about the crazy guy on, on, on YouTube, him and his dad, and some of his buddies that get out there and catch fish. We're informative. We try to be uh, informative as well as funny, um, as well as fun. I don't want to just give you a dry video. Here's a crappie. Uh, we call it another way. Uh, ooh, look, big fish. You know, I, listen. Nobody wants to watch a monotone video. You know, so we try to we try to have a little fun with it. And I know sometimes some people get annoyed with all the laughing, but it is what it is. Man. So we're having fun. I'm thankful. We're gonna keep going, man. So I'm gonna try to catch up with these comments just in case we have a few um, questions that need answering. Uh, and we're gonna go that way, man. Let's see, we'll start with Shedrick, what's going on, man? I keep getting a roll tie from Tracy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold them Hook TV says that we need a few of those ACC sticks. Don't forget you can go to ACC Crappie Sticks, S-T-I-X. Dot com and get you one, man. Also, don't forget to go to the website and get you some Hook City TV apparel at www.hookcitytv.com. Um, Joe, yeah, I believe those pink spoons can be used in all, always, um, and especially ice fishing. I wish um, it doesn't get cold enough down here. We don't get a long enough freeze to go ice fishing in Texas. It would be pretty cool to try that, though, especially this winter. Um, so if anybody wants to take take me uh, ice fishing, let me know. I might be able to get up there with you. JT, thank you, man. Again, we we did a. Uh, I just bought a GoPro Hero Seven, um, and J, JT says that it works great. So I'm thankful to see that. Um, I had a good time out there on the lake. Uh, it was an overcast day, so I knew with it being kind of dark, that's one of the downfalls of, of some of the older. Uh, hero models, um, and I think that even with the overcast sky, we really got a really good video out of that. So again, if you haven't checked out the latest video, go do so, man. It's on there and it's waiting for you. Um, let's see. <laughs> hey, man, I pretty listen. I be I be cute. I'll call you I be cute, man. So hey, I appreciate I appreciate uh <laughs> what you gave, man. And again, that's gonna go towards fishing, man. So whether you whether you pass gas or do whatever you do, man, I appreciate you for giving. Um so like where you at, man? Says that he'll he'll give uh he'll take me ice fishing. So where you at, Lyle? What state are you in? Let's see, Keith G asked, do I ever fish Cleburne? I just saw that up there. I fished Cleburne Lake a few times, had some really good crap in it. I don't know the lake real well, but I know that it has plenty of brush in it, and I don't think I'd have fun, uh, excuse me, I wouldn't have a hard time um, getting on a few fish out there at Cleburne. I've been told by a few of my friends that it is really, it really gets some good fish. Um, I've caught really good fish out of that lake. It has a good quality, um, fish in that lake that I've caught. So yes, and also Lake Weatherford, I fished that as well. Um, I have some waypoints on Weatherford. I don't go a lot, man. I'm, I'm kind of a creature of habit. I go to the same lakes, which I'm going to stretch out um, because going to different lakes, it only enhances my learning, you know? Um, so I will be going to different lakes for sure. Um, yes, I will. Let's see, what else do we have here? In Wisconsin, I tell you what, man. Listen, Lyle, if I can get up there, um, like you said, when you have ice, send me an email, man. I'm, I'm serious about that. I want to get on the ice and go ice fishing. I want to be a well-rounded crappie fisherman. And I know in some of those places up there, y'all have some giant black crappie in that really clear water. I'd love to get up there and get a hold of some of that, man. But I need you to make sure the safety is first. 
because I'm a Texan. We do heat. We don't do cold. So I got to be wrapped up, and I got to know that that ice is thick enough. Don't 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 send for me to come up there with three inches of ice talking about it's good. Y'all yeah, are driving half ton trucks across the ice and all that. Uh-huh. I need it to be some ice on the lake, Jack. Some ice for real. PD fishing. What's going on? Um, the crappie life is going good, man. Haven't been on the lake in a while. Like I said, we, we took time out to go dove hunting with my buddy uh, uh, Dimitri, aka D, and we had a good time, me and Dad. Um, but man, this going. I said I was going to take the rest of the week out since I was away from my family, kind of sit here and enjoy them uh, and give them the time. I know my daughter probably wore out my my. My wife real good, so I wanted to make sure she got a little break. Um, and it's good to have balance, guys. I know we get out here, and ladies too. It's good to have balance. You know, if you if you're out there on the lake and doing your thing, you, you probably want to chill every now and again just to kind of give your mate a break. So um, that's what I'm doing for the rest of this week. We might go if we do go tomorrow. It'll be as a family, uh, but other than that, you know, I'm going. I'm going to chill. And I've been chilling, but next week we're gonna get back on it. Hopefully, the weather is what we need it to be. Um, we are in September, so I know those fish are gonna start a little bit different pattern, which is fine. But they're gonna be feeding up for the fall, getting into the winter, and it should be some really good fish being caught real soon. So I'll stay tuned. Um, let's see. Hold them. Ask, uh, okay, JT says that Waco is finally back on track and producing good. I wish I would have got back up there. Me and Mandel, uh, a.k.a. Rev again, uh, a.k.a. Swample, said that we were going to uh, get back up there, man, and, and man, schedules just have not been meeting. Um, it's been actually pretty hectic meeting up with all my buddies here, here lately. Um, but, man, we were going to go get back to Waco. We have a Waco video from last year. Um, never been to the lake and us three put our heads together and come up with a really nice bag of fish and some really good fish, man. Some 13s and 14s out of Lake Waco. So I wouldn't mind going again for sure. Um, uh, Holdem is asking, do you find it harder to catch the bigger saccolae in the summer months? Um, and my answer to that is I wouldn't I wouldn't say harder. Um I just think that those those longer fish, they're not as bulky in the summertime. I would say that. So as far as weight goes, we still catch 13s, 14s, 15s as crappie in the summer months, but those fish um, are, are relatively smaller than than when they begin to feed in the uh, in the fall. So no, I wouldn't say it's harder. Um, but you definitely catch bigger, more bigger fish because those fish are they're they're getting their weight up for the winter during the fall. So, um, Billabong asks, "What is a good all around ACC crappie stick that I would recommend?" If you've been at the channel for a while, you know that I've used the uh, seven six and the eight footer almost exclusively. Man, um, when I use live bait out of the boat, I like to use the ten footer. Now that I've uh, moved over to the um, to the live scope, using the live scope so much and fishing trees, that rear seat 10 and rear seat 11, there's no match for them right now. Um, but as far as all around good rod, something I can do everything with, I'm sticking to my guns and saying the seven sticks. I have shot box with it. I've cast it with it, which is what it is to cast a rod. Um, I've also... Uh, fished out of the boat, the bank, pretty much everything, man. Uh, and then slip court with it as well. So I would say the seven six. So I want to shout out to uh, Mizzou fan Mike. Um, I thank you, man, for what you gave. Again, that is going to go towards uh, fishing and possibly hunting. So I thank you, man, for what you gave. I know that's your hard-earned money. No matter whether it's big or small, I'm thankful, man. Thankful. Nothing is small here at Hook City TV. If you're giving your time to watch, um, or if you're giving your, your your money, you know, your hard-earned money uh, to us over here at Hook City TV, I'm thankful. So thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. 
Okay, so Mizzou fan says, I like your videos. I am in Missouri. We have some awesome crappie fishing in Truman and Lake of the Ozarks. You ever fished here? Um, I haven't. Um, for work, I fished in Kansas. Uh, what was it? Hillsdale Lake. We went to we went to Hillsdale Lake, but we um, we didn't get over to Missouri, which I would have loved to do. Um, but Hillsdale Lake, we did a really good do job. Uh, I met up with another YouTuber, Jefferson Her. He doesn't really do a video anymore, um, but he's he's really deep in ministry, which is a which is an awesome thing, you know. Uh, only what we do for God will last. So um, I'm, I'm actually happy and proud of him for what he's doing, but he's also a great fisherman. Took me out there, and we had an awesome time, man. We had an awesome time, and an awesome fellowship as well. Um, but I would love to get to, um, I would love to get to Truman Lake, but Lake of the Ozarks, I think, is the big one for me. If I remember right, Lake of the Ozarks is the one with all the docks, and I love dock shooting. Absolutely love dock shooting. Um, Yeah, let's see. PD fishing, yes, I know that uh, Santee has big crappie, and it also has big catfish as well. So that would be a cool uh, combo trip to take one of these days. Again, man, y'all keep on supporting the channel. Um, I might be able to move around like that sometime, man. Go fishing with some of y'all, and I might be able to even open the doors to to bring some subscribers in and fish with them. Um, so y'all be on the lookout, man. Again, keep supporting, keep sharing, keep liking. Uh, subscribing the whole nine, going buying t-shirts. Y'all know how I go, man. But what y'all do is what's going to help propel me to do more for you. So keep that in mind. I'm thankful for what y'all do already. Bro. So thank y'all so much, man. Bill Bone, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Again, you know the spiel, man. Uh, your hard-earned money that you that you decided to, uh, to send to us is going to go towards crappie fishing, man. So we're going to keep those, those videos coming. We're going to keep these lives coming. So if y'all have questions, don't be afraid to ask, man. Uh, here at Hook City, we don't do none of that. Oh, that was a stupid question. I'm, I'm not doing any of that. We're not doing any of that. As a matter of fact, if, if anybody on here wants to talk about another person for something that they don't understand, you're not welcome on this channel. And that's just the truth, man. We are all here to help one another. Um, not belittle or degrade or any of that kind of stuff. There's enough of that crap going on in the world. Here is going to be a safe place, man, where we can talk, have clean fun, talk about fishing. I'm going to throw in a little bit of Jesus on y'all because we all need some of him, uh, in my humble opinion. And we're going to keep it rolling, man. So don't be afraid, man. If y'all are watching this live and you got a question, man, don't be afraid to ask. Also, if you don't want to put it on the comment section and you do want to talk about it, you can always hit me up at the email address, which is www.hctv2, T-O-O, -O, at gmail.com. So y'all let me know, man. Um, let's see what else we got. So Bill of Bone, thank you again. Um, God bless you guys as well, man. I'm getting a couple of bless you. So God bless you and yours as well, man. Uh, MJ, are you hunting on public land or private land in Texas? So I, I got an invite to, uh, to private land with my buddy Dimitri. Um, had an awesome time, man. That guy, stand-up guy, man. Um, you know, we haven't been knowing each other for long, but that is truly my brother, man. Uh, uh, you know, he, he definitely has the love of God in his heart, man. Um, uh, patient with me, me and my dad, you know teaching us how to be safe with firearms, uh, teaching us about hunting in general. Man, we even went and looked at some tracks. We discussed what different hoofs look like, uh, a pig, a cow, um, a deer. Uh, I don't think we saw any turkey tracks. Uh, we saw some type of predator, maybe a bobcat, something like that. Matter of fact, he did say bobcat, and we did see coyote tracks as well. So, I mean, we got a lot of learning in in three days. So I appreciate you again. Publicly, I want to say, brother, I appreciate you. I thank you and your family because you left your family as well to show me and dad a good time. So I thank you, Jen, and the kids. Appreciate it, man. Um, let's see. Eric Graham says, have I ever fished in North Louisiana? I've actually never fished in Louisiana at all. Um, and then we want to say thank you to Mark. Uh, man, I'm, I'm listen, out of respect, I'm going to give it a shot, man. Uh, Mark Thibault. 
So I want to say thank you, man, uh, for that, man. Believe me when I tell you that that's going to go towards fishing and getting these videos. T-Bow, okay. Woo, I messed that up, didn't I? Thank you. You listen, I'm, I'm texting. You know, I'm country, man. So uh, no disrespect to you, man, but I do appreciate what you've given, and it is going to go towards uh, uh, crappie fishing, man. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. What else do we have? Bill Bone, look, man, you're, you're on here supporting right now. So, man, don't ever feel obligated to do anything that you can't do, man. Believe me when I tell you, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching those videos. And I appreciate your comment, man, because that's what keeps this live uplifted. And, you know, being able to, being able to talk and converse, that's, that's great, man. So thank you, man. And I, I pray that your finances turn around for you, man. I really do. Stay in it, man. Stay encouraged. Uh, Jeremy, thank you, man. Amen, amen, guys. Um, so let's see, man. I, I tell you what, the, the comments are slow. Um, but again, I thank y'all, man, for the super chats. I thank y'all for the support. We're at 23,000 subscribers, man. No small thing. I want to thank everybody again for, for what they're sending in. I'm going to be trying some of that stuff. And if y'all have any ideas, video ideas, man, keep them coming. Uh, we're going to get back behind this camera. We're going we're gonna to get back to recording. I do have a few things that I need to record for y'all. Um, and also, yeah, thank you, uh, uh, Mark. If you would, man, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, man. When you watch those videos, give them thumbs up, man. Uh, and subscribe, guys. I think we're still, I've, I've been kind of watching the analytics a little bit, and I believe that we only have um, like 25% of, of my viewers are actually um, are actually subscribers. We need you to hit that subscribe button, man. We're going to continue to grow, and we need you to help us do it. So if you're not subscribed, but you're watching these videos, you're out here laughing with me, you're hee-hawing with me, you, you big booty crappie in with me, you barn dooring and donkey hunting with me and all that good stuff, man, and you're not subscribed, you're disappointed, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Don't forget to do it. So thank you again. Thank you again for even considering. Um, so yeah, looking at this, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Man, guys, we're moving. We are moving, and I'm thankful to y'all. Artists, thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Um, and, and I'm only, I can only do my part, you know? Uh, but one thing I learned a long time ago, where it says that Paul planted Apollo's water, and it was God to give the, that gave the increase. And I just want to do my part in planting and water, you know? I just want to mention Jesus you know, put his name out there and I pray that, you know, somebody else comes along and waters that seed that I may plant and hopefully man it'll leave somebody lead somebody to Christ. Um and again I'm not perfect, you know, but I serve I serve a perfect master man. So hey, it is what it is, baby. Let's see. Um Nothing better than family, man. Faith, family, and fishing. I agree, Mark. Um, vinyl beat machine. You're buying a crappie rod tomorrow, man. Listen, I don't know where you're headed, but I sure hope it's acccrappiesticks.com, man. And not because I'm affiliated with those guys, but because I know that if you purchase an ACC crappie stick, number one, you're, you're purchasing a great piece of equipment. Number two, it's backed by great customer service. Number three, your boy used it, man. You know what time it is. Um, whew. Charlene Scott, you got a question for me. Where can I find a good starter boat for under a thousand dollars in DFW? Um, two places I would I would stay on is um, Craigslist, and I would also stay on uh, um, if you're on Facebook. Check out the Facebook. Uh, uh, section, the buy sell trade section on Facebook. That's another great place to look. Be careful buying used boats and, and remember you get what you pay for. 
You get what you pay for. Mizzou fan Mike, I appreciate you for stopping in, man. You have a good night. Um, guys, I'm not going to stay out here much longer again. I just wanted to let y'all know that the reason we didn't go live Wednesday is because we came in late. Um, you're welcome, Charlene. Uh, the reason why we, we, we didn't do anything Wednesday is because we got in too late and I had to give my time to family um, before passing out and needing to go to work the next morning. So that's what's going on. Y'all make sure y'all, y'all listen. Follow directions, okay? Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the website and get you a t-shirt, you know? Um, we're going to have some more cool stuff on there real soon. Um, hit me up on email if you have any questions. If you want to be a part of the whole fan mail thing, if you want to send your boy something, um, whether it be a handwritten letter, you know, some, some type of spices or anything like that, if you want me to see the hentai jigs that you're making, any of that kind of stuff, man, I'm 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 for it. We have a we have a PO box up there at the uh, post office now, um, and we'll be able to receive it, you know. And if you want me to review it, but, but listen, I'm gonna tell you something. If I review something, it's gonna be the truth. I will not get on here and lie to you guys. Um, so I will tell the truth about it. Uh, I tell you what, I get so many offers. Um, as a growing channel, as a growing creator, you know, hey, try this, hey, look at this, hey, do this, hey, do that. And if I don't like it, or, if, you know, if I don't agree with, you know, the way that company runs things, or, I, man, I'm, I'm not going to be a, uh, what, for lack of a better word, I'm not going to be a tackle whore, uh, or a, um, a person that just uses um, whatever just to say I'm using it. What's up, babe? They can use code 23K if they're purchasing two or more website items. Now, for next Wednesday, you get 10% off. I hope y'all heard that because this girl just came here and told me a story. Come here. Come here. Just come here. Come here. here. <laughs> All right, say it one more time, real quick. Come back. Just say it real quick for me. You can use code. 23K. 23K. We're celebrating 23,000 subscribers. Okay. Get 10% off if you buy two or more items. All right. Okay, there it is. All right. So, guys, again, if you buy two or three, baby, is that the promo code? Okay. So, guys, so what we're doing for you guys for, um, for getting to 23,000 subscribers. I wish you'd have told me that earlier. I know people have gotten off of there, but we are thankful all nonetheless that management, AKA baby, came in to tell us that. But if you use promo code 23K um, and you buy two or more items, say it one more time, please. I can't, I don't know why she came here and thought out. 10% off? Okay. Two or more items with the promo code 23K, you will receive 10% off. So, so ladies, your husbands that you know like the channel, um, get on there, man. Get you two shirts. Receive 10% off. That's what we're doing for y'all uh, for growing to 23,000 uh, subscribers. So that will be a promo code for anything that's on that website. And we have T-shirts. We have moisture wick and long sleeve shirts. Um, we have the hoodies now. Uh, and it's just going to go and go and go. Uh, but yes, she is camera shop, Mark. She doesn't like being on it, man. The website um, is www.hookcitytv.com. There it is. I put it in the comment section. Go check us out, man. We got the Real Fisherman Love Jesus, Donkey Season. We got the um, we got the Hook City TV tees in different, co uh, different colors. Keep on, what's going on? Um, we also have shucks. We got we got a lot of different. We got the hee haw shirts. Okay, we got a couple of different ones. So y'all check out the website. Um, and if you don't remember all that extra she just said, uh, get in the comment section of one of those videos. I always check the comment section. You can get it in the comment section of one of those videos, or you can get um in the in the uh, email and send me an email and we'll make sure that you understand what promo code to use where to put it in it and how you can save 10 percent on your purchase of two or more t-shirts or items 
on the uh, Hook City TV website. So thank you, man. Guys, again, out of respect, I, I, I have to do this. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, CS, what's going on, man? I, I hate you. You got got here towards the end. I know I didn't make a big announcement on, on this, but I did want to just go live. Um, boy Lamont, boy, look at my boy Lamont. He out there tearing up Arlington, man. I guess Arlington Lake is on. I guess I'm about to go out there and see what's going on, man. Oh, boy. I got some crazy stuff going on. Um, so, guys, uh, okay, Mark, here in South Florida, man. That is what you are in the fisherman's paradise. Uh, Hook City is actually from Panama City, Florida. I want to get back down to South Florida, man, and do a, a whole bunch of stuff. I want to do it. Thank you, JT. Um, I want to do a whole bunch of stuff, man. I want to fish. I want to do some hunting down there. Um, for whatever reason, I'm seeing these guys doing that iguana hunting, and that looks fun. I got my trusty Dusty 22 that I shot a couple of bullfrogs with, and I'm going to tell you now, guys, I'm sorry. I was not able to get that bullfrog video. Oh, my gosh. But we shot some absolute monsters. I got some frog legs in the freezer right now, as well as some uh, dove breasts um, from that hunt. So if you haven't seen the very first hunt on Hook City TV, period, make sure you go watch that video. This is the first time I've ever hunted, guys. A lot of people laugh. It was the first time I've ever shot a, a high-powered uh, shotgun. Never shot anything over a BB gun before in my life. I've always been a fisherman, and I want to say thanks to Demetri, man, for taking me and dad out. We shot shotguns. I, I went and bought me a Remington 870, um, 12 gauge pump action, learned how to use that, how to safely deal with it, and, and put it up and load it and unload it and check it. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting the cleaning and all that down to. Um, Man, I hope to do some some rabbit hunting as well. So if y'all want to see more hunting videos, I have a part two to that dove hunting. So y'all be on the lookout. I'm going to try to get that video turned really soon. Um, and man, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do it, guys. Uh, let's see. CS, thanks, man. That 23,000, it, it is insane. I, I never thought um, it would grow to that. Guys, if you didn't know, when I very first started this channel, um, it was literally just a, from, a way for me to keep record of what me and dad were doing. Uh, and then people caught on to it, and I saw that it actually started uh, growing a little bit. People were interested in what was going on, and I kept the camera rolling. And here we are now at 23,000. Uh, glory to God. Glory to God, man. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for all of y'all that support me, whether it be, again, watching the videos, commenting, sending me emails. Um, sending me, sending me, you know, just uplifting messages to keep this camera rolling. Thank y'all for taking time out to click on these videos and watch me cut up. Me and Dad, me and me and my buddy Kyron, me and D, um, me and Rev, me and Early, me and Chucks. I know I'm missing somebody. Mandel Swample, um, bluegill videos, crappie fishing videos, now dove videos. You know, I might go shoot skis or something so I can I can really hone in on what's going on before it's time to shoot quail and all that kind of stuff. I may go duck hunting one day. I don't have anything to any of this stuff. Uh, and this is all coming from friends and family. So again, thanks D for that. And guys, man, listen, I'm open. I want a hog. I want I want to put that out there in the atmosphere. I'm not a big I, I don't I don't really want to shoot a deer. Um they're just majestic to me. But I do want to knock down a hog. You know, uh, dad bought the AR. We have an AR. Um, I'm pretty good with that thing, man. And I want to shoot a hog. So if you're close to the DFW area and you got land and you want some hogs eradicated, call me and my boy D. We're going to come out and we're going to have a good time. Um, hopefully good, clean fun, guys. I don't want to go out. I don't, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't act crazy unless it's fishing and hunting, you know, so. Uh, if you are in the DFW area, Metroplex, or anywhere close in Texas and can put me on the hog, I'm trying to go, man. And I hope you're camera friendly because I'm bringing the camera with me because we will be on Hook City TV doing our thing. So, real quick, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Man, I'm talking again, man. You know what? I'm going to let this thing run for an hour because it looks like we're talking again. It's only 10 or 7, and we, we're only at 49 minutes because I got on here a little later. Um, Jeremy Browning, I'm going to tell you, man. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to get to you, Jeremy. Hold on. Let's see. So Mark is saying, anytime I want, come on down, man. Listen, I listen. We'll keep in touch, man. Jeremy Browning said he likes watching my my my. I like watching you fish. You got me wanting to go crappie fishing, man. Go do it. I used to be a cat fisherman as well. That was what me and Dad did. We we drift fish for we drift fishing for catfish. Um, and then I caught the bug, man, on this crappie fishing. And I became a student of crappie fishing. And I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Still learning day by day. I'll be a fool to stop learning. Uh, let's see. Kentucky. That's pretty cool. Um, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And we can collab. Well, man, send me an email. I don't know how, how soon I will be able to do anything like that. But I'm, listen, I'm not turning down anything. Send me an email. I know Kentucky has them. Kentucky's where the big old deer are. Uh, I'm not sure about the fishing in Kentucky. Uh, but man, I'm up for it. I really am. Um, you know, my schedule is hectic, man. I can't really travel a lot, especially right now. But with you guys' support, I think it's going to be made possible really soon. Um, really, really soon. So Mike Hallmark, great question. Did I get my hunter education? Uh, if you're talking about the, the there's one I can do online, there's one I can do at Bass Pro. No, I haven't done that, that yet. We will be going to, um, I, think it's, I think it's Bass Pro to get it done. But yeah, we will be doing that soon. Soon and very soon, man. Um, let's see. Daryl says that his, his passion is rabbit hunting. Um, man, I got a buddy that we call him Swamper. Um, and I mean, he hunts with beagles and the whole nine. I'm really, I love watching dogs work. Uh, so shout out to my dog, Nico. Um, that was the uh, black lab that Dimitri was using that he has uh, when we were doing that dove hunt. So again, management is, 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 is saying again that if you go to hoodcdtv.com, buy two or more items, click checkout, Add promo code 23K now through next Wednesday and receive 10% off. And we thank you for all the support, guys. Um, Shedrick, appreciate it, man. Yeah, we're, 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 I'm born and raised Fort Worth, Texas, east side. Oh, man. I'm trying to keep up with you guys, man. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so Jerry says, great taking your dad hunting, fishing. I used to take, I used to take my dad hunting and fishing and then he passed away this last month. Man, Jerry, man, I'm sorry to hear that, man. So rest in peace to your father. Um, the beauty in it, man, is that you have memories. Um, it sounds like he was, you know, he was, it was in your life and you guys got to spend a lot of time. So we thank God that y'all were able to spend that time and you will forever have those memories, man. I'll never act like, you know, I know the feeling because I don't, you know, I'm not there. Um, but you are in my prayers, man, and I'm sure that's that's hard. Uh, so, yo, yeah, you will be in my prayers, man. Uh, so Daryl is in, is in Lexington, Kentucky. Man, what y'all up there doing up there in Kentucky, man? What y'all doing up there, man? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Demetrius has been up there in Kentucky for a little while, man. He he uh he lives up there for a while. Y'all get with him, man. He he uh I'm sure he got the info. Let's see, you say seven six ACC crappy sticks, one of them action, and how fast the tip? Was it all the same? So Bill Bong is all the same. The seven six seven six ACC crappy sticks. It's just one rod, uh, and I believe it only comes in split grip with uh, with cork handle. JT, I'll do that, man. 
just south of Dallas. Let me, JT, are you a, are you a hunter, man? I'd love to get down there with you if you are. We'd love to get down there with you, man. Artists, I hear you, man. That money will be ready later. Well, well, we'll be doing promo codes here and there, guys. Um, I'm sure there'll be another one when we get up to 24K. So y'all make sure y'all share, 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 share the page with other people, man. We're trying to grow. So the Dizzle Enterprise says that I'm about to create my own YouTube channel and need tips and pointers. Um, number one, man, make sure it's sustainable, something that you can do. Um, the good thing that's sustainable about what I'm doing here is I love to fish, guys. Three, sometimes four days a week. Um, and the way my life is set up, I'm able to do so. So thanks to my wife and my child, um, I'm able to fish. And so bringing the camera along is not a big deal. I mean, it's something that I love to do. It's something that I'm going to do whether I have the camera or not. So number one, make sure whatever you do, your channel on is sustainable. Um, make sure it's something you love. Number two, don't do it for the money, man. The money will come. The money ain't the greatest, you know. Um, so make sure it's something you love first and foremost. Um, and again, make sure it's sustainable. Uh, other than that, you got any specific questions, man, I don't mind helping you. Again, hit me up at hctv2too at gmail.com and I'll help you. Why am I holding this with you? Forgive me, y'all. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the that's the that's the word I need. Uh, Dimitri just said it for me. Uh, where you go? Damn, my nose got my got my eyes water. My nose is itchy. Um, so basically, I have the one year exemption pass, um, and I'll be able to knock out that hunter's edge with the link that was provided by my buddy Dimitri. So we thank him for that. Kiwan Lee said, you'll be at Arlington in the morning. Well, go get them, bro. Um, if I get there, it'll be it'll be tomorrow evening after I get off of work. Let's see, I have 30 acres out west. Can't get my daughter or son-in-law to get their hunter education. Well, I tell you what, Mike, if you can't get your daughter or son-in-law to get their education, uh, listen, I get mine. You can adopt me and D, or me and Hood City, and we'll come hunt with you. Out west. We'll go out west, man. Look, we'll be good too. We'll be good. So you let me know, Mike. We love to we love to meet you, man. And again, thank you for all your support. Thank you for all the support. Oh, wait a minute. Trey Lewis. Man, I wish I could get out there to make in Georgia. So listen, I want to tell you thank you, my brother, um, for the for the uh, super chat. Um, for the giving, man, listen, it's going to go towards these videos, guys. Um, and it's, it's people like you, Trey, um, that don't mind giving monetarily, which, you know, I thank you so much, man. It's going to go towards putting gas in the boat. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go towards launch fees, you know, making sure we get out here on the water so that I can bring you guys great content. Um, and, and, and listen, buying that GoPro Hero 7 so we can make sure the clarity is better. Um, I'm, I'm steadily working on the audio because I want to have great audio. And guys, I'm doing this all myself. I'm, I'm not a I'm not a, a videographer. I'm no student of video or film or anything like that. So I'm learning as I go. But I thank y'all for allowing me to practice on y'all as we go. And it's only going to get better, man. God willing, say the same. I'm not going with nowhere. We're going to keep that camera rolling. And it's going down, baby. <laughs> Let's see. So thank you, Trey. Appreciate it, man. And if I can get up there to Georgia, brother, listen to me. I will get up there. I know it's in Georgia now. And it ain't just Atlanta. Let's see. Man, y'all are going fast on me. Yeah, get it. Hey, Dimitri, don't listen. Mike, I don't already told Mike he's going. He's going to adopt us. We're going to get our uh, our crossbows, and he's going to take us to the woods. That's what we're working on. 
Oh man, Mike, I sure wish you could put me on some hollows. That's pretty cool, man. Um let's see. Okay, so uh, Dracula said, how did the hunt go? The hunt went amazing, man. I had a great time. Uh, and I, I really want to do it again. Ooh, we I want to do it again. Time permitting. You know, my wife ain't going to let me just go two or three days at a time every week. It's, it's not going to work like that. Uh, but yes, I do want to get out there real soon. I'm looking for somewhere around here um, <clears throat> in the DFW area. Um, I know there are a couple of places where um, there's some, there's some, uh, there's some good dove hunting around here. I know it is. Somebody just got to tell the secret. San Angelo, Texas. What's going on, Raymond? Um, so you caught the crappie bug, but switched up and been hitting the bank for bass. What? And I tell you what, I, I can't, I can't change out for bass, man. Can't. Okay, JT. I'm guessing you don't hunt anymore, but you stay in touch with everybody that hunts. You know, you're okay. You're retired and on a fixed income. So y'all fishing camp. That's what's up, man. Congratulations on retirement. Man, you talking about a milestone. And a little squirrel hunting, says Daryl. I don't, man, I, something about that tree rat, I, I don't know, man. No knock to anybody else that's doing it, but I, if I kill it, I want to be able to, I want to, I want to say that I eat what I kill. You know, me personally. We're going to be on Whitney. Uh oh, where'd it go? Going to be on Whitney for two weeks starting next Wednesday. We have a bass tournament on Sunday. Well, good luck, JT. Go get them. Okay, Shedrick, that's pretty cool, man. We fish the same lakes. I thank you, man, for your support. Chancellor, I would love to hunt around Levon, but it's mostly bow hunting. Wish I had some property. Yeah, I wish I had some too, man. Um, never really saw the importance of having it, but man, do I now. <laughs> Trey Lewis, man, I've never had a camera crew. I wish I did, man. Um, hunting in, in Kentucky is a beast. Big deer, big turkey. Well, let's go get some. Billabong, thanks for tuning in, man. And my baby is not about that three to four day hunting life. I bet you, I think I can get her to let me go hunting uh, two to three days at a time, maybe maybe a couple times a year. JT, squirrel and dumplings is great. I got a really funny story about why um, as a young kid, I, I said I'd never try that squirrel again. I got a real funny story. We'll save it for next time. Dimitri, boy, if you can get my wife to come to come hunt, I tell you what, we're gonna buy all the lottery tickets in the store, cause I know who ain't getting that. Number one, she's scared of. Uh, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all something. I'm gonna put my baby on blast real quick. Then I'm gonna try to snuggle up with her here in a minute. Y'all see this right here? This. Listen. Y'all hear that? So me and my baby. This is how scared my my wife is. Number one, you can literally be standing next to her and say, boom, and she will jump out of her shoes. But number two, we took some of these. And my baby got to doing this, my little baby. And it scared my wife, God. She's scary. I said she ain't living right. She's supposed to be a Christian. She needs to be not so scared. But she does not like anything popping. And I couldn't imagine if I let off of a, a, a a two, two, three round. God, Jesus, Lord. Whew. So anyway, I, yeah. Okay, D, that's what I'm talking about. Tell Gene, thank you. Um, Stephen Webb, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. I hope you continue to learn. Um, and I know it'll change her life, man. She just, is she, is she slow? Listen, She's just slow about, about wanting to do new things, man. My baby has been, uh, for, for as long as I've known her and, and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and 
father-in-law tell me all the time, she is a she is an indoor baby. Didn't do a lot of going out, you know, didn't do a lot of outside activity. So it'll be a, a super change for her. And then also another funny story, when I first met Alicia, um, we went to a church picnic. And, you know, she was being cute and, you know, we were we were new. And uh, it's, it's funny, man. We, we went to this church picnic at a park and it was hot and sunny outside. And uh, we're walking around having a good time. And I noticed she kind of started walking a little bit slower. And I noticed her skin. She's, of course, a light skinned woman, but I noticed her skin started getting kind of red. Um, and I noticed she had a row of bumps going across her forehead that wasn't there when I picked her up. This lady's allergies and the fact that she's allergic to the sun was so bad, she started to bubble up. I had to get this girl somewhere in some AC because she could not take it. So, funny story, man. I love you, baby. I'll be in there in a minute. A little hug and a kiss because I love you. That's my shout out. Anyway, guys, we appreciate it. Man, I am really thankful from the bottom of my heart. That's why I'm going to continue to make these videos. But guys, there is a promo code available for your um, Hook City TV merch. Um, it's 23K when you buy two or more items. You get 10% off. You get sleepy, guys. I love you. God bless you. From the bottom of my heart, it's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. She ain't gonna put me on the couch, man. She ain't gonna put me on the couch. I didn't, I didn't sell too much. Whew. It's your boy Fishing King Hook City TV. Um, look out for that, that day two dove hunt, man. Um, and seriously, y'all continue to support, continue to share, like, comment, all that. Jerry Lee, thanks, man. Daryl, good night, brother. Y'all have a good night. God bless. Until Wednesday, when I will get back on here, y'all look for some more updates on videos. And go watch what's already out, man. Or just go get that merch, man. It's available to you, man. And we got all sizes, guys. So if you're a big guy, we got the five X's. If you're little, we got the mediums. We got everything in between. All right, man. I'm gone. And I'll hear from y'all Wednesday.